grade twos. So today we are going to start learning about graphic novels uh, on the way to making our very own graphic novel. So first I thought maybe we should make a quick comparison between a regular novel and a graphic novel so we kind of see what some of the differences are and then talk about the necessary things you need to have to make up a graphic novel. So I have two examples here. I have Batman, No Man's Land, and a Narwhal and Jelly book, Narwhal, Unicorn of the Sea. So my Batman book is a novel, and if we open it up, we can see that it's just words. Lots and lots of words. And no pictures in this one. Uh, it actually doesn't have any pictures at all through the whole book. Uh, just words. My Narwhal and Jelly book, on the other hand, is full of pictures and the pictures are presented uh, in kind of a special way they're all in these boxes called frames and frames can be all kinds of different sizes as you can see here we have some big frames and some little frames and we also have something here called a caption that tells what's going on. It says one day when Narwhal was out for a swim, he found himself in new waters. And that's how the story begins. And then we have characters speaking. And most of the story in a graphic novel is told through the pictures and through the characters speaking to one another. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at some examples that I've drawn up of the important parts of a graphic novel. So as I mentioned, one very important part are frames. It's the boxes where you draw your story and write your words, you put your speech bubbles or your thought bubbles, and frames can be different sizes depending on how much information uh, you want to be in that frame. So they can be a medium size or small or really big. Sometimes you might even use an entire page as just one single frame. The next super important thing are speech bubbles, thought bubbles, and captions. So a speech bubble is when a character is speaking, when they're talking to themselves or they're talking to someone else in your story. A thought bubble, a little bit different, bubbles up to a big one, that's when a character is thinking. And then we have captions. Uh, captions are usually uh, part of the story that just gives information. Um, a character doesn't need to be speaking, it just tells us kind of what's going on to help move the story along. The next super important part are sound effects. So I've drawn a couple of different ones here, some of my favorites, Boom, Crash, and this one is out of the story Moose. It's one of my favorite when the moose sits on Luke's dad and he says, Quack! So, so those are some of the elements that we're going to be using to create our own graphic novel. Our first step, however, is just to practice. Okay, So you are going to make, as your assignment, your very first one, just a one-page comic. Uh, a one-page graphic novel story. And this is the one that I did. I have a caption that says, one Saturday morning, Mr. Olson was in his backyard, and he's thinking, he has a thought bubble that says, I love being outside, and it's a bright sunny day. In my next frame, there's a caption that says, the boys next door were playing football, and there's the football flying through the air, and one of the boys is yelling, pass it to me! But, oops, I missed it. And the football comes flying, and hits Mr. Olsen in the head. Bonk! Ow! And it can be just that simple. I used three frames of different sizes. I made sure that I had some captions. I made sure I had a thought bubble and some speech bubbles and a sound effect. Okay? 
So that's going to be your assignment, our first assignment working towards graphic novels is just to create a one-page comic uh, that tells a very short story. Happy learning!